Hi guys! So today I'm back at Cambridge to get my masters and I thought since I'm in my room I'm gonna give you a little bit of a tour of what a room at Cambridge actually looks like. This is pretty typical of a Cambridge room. I was at Pembroke College, Cambridge and this is one of the rooms at Pembroke. So basically we're back here and they've given us a room to stay in for the night before we get our masters tomorrow. So I thought why not just give you a tour? What does a Cambridge room actually look like? What are the good things? What are the bad things? And maybe I'll show you around. So first of all, what is a Cambridge room like? Well, I'm going to give you a tour around. I'm going to show you what everything looks like. And overall, you're going to see that Cambridge rooms actually aren't that bad. Like they are pretty good. You've got your bed, you've got often a sink. You don't always have an ensuite bathroom, but toilet hopefully is nearby. So it's not too bad. And you do also have a desk. So I'm filming this from the desk, which is just below this camera. I will show you what it looks like. And generally, when I was an undergrad here, I used to just study in my room. You can go to the library, which is just over there to my left. I'll give you a tour in a moment. But yeah, without any further ado, let's get to it. Just over here, you can see the bed. I mean, it's not the biggest bed in the world, but it's not too bad. Um, it's like a single, maybe even a little bit smaller than a single. Uh, so one pillow and... It sort of raised off the ground so you can put stuff underneath. Good for storage. Um, loads of space for books. Uh, you can see the walls. Yeah, I mean, there probably used to be posters here. People put up posters. You're not really meant to. You're not meant to put up posters. Um, but yeah, uh, and I guess they've got painting hooks here, which is pretty interesting. So if you really want, you can bring along a painting and hang it up here. Again, more space for books. Chair if you want to have a, I guess, a, a friend, a friend over. Um, Desk, studying again, put stationary in here. You can see there's quite a lot of room. And yeah, I think that these ones are pretty good. There's loads of space in these desks. Um, desk wise, enough space, enough space. You can put your laptop on here, books as well. Now, what else have you got? So there's some lighting. This is where you generally keep your clothes. Uh, just behind this curtain here, is where we can keep our other stuff. So um, yeah, maybe they're pretty old, right? Because it's Cambridge, um, all of this stuff is pretty old, like the drawers and stuff like that. But that's what you get when you come to Cambridge. Um, more space up here, just keep keep stuff in there. Um, what have we got here? Hangers, um, and yeah, you can hang your, hang your clothes. And one of the best things about Cambridge is a lot of the rooms do have sinks. So they don't necessarily have toilets, but they have sinks and let's take a look in here. Here we can see that we have the sink. And so yeah, amazing if you don't wanna to have to go to the toilet and you, you don't wanna to have to share a sink with everybody else, this is for you. And there is some electricity here, so for shavers, um, you can go ahead and charge those up here. So pretty good, what are we thinking so far? Leave your ratings in the comments below. I wanna hear what you think about this room. And this wouldn't be complete without a view of the outside. So here, to be honest, the view is probably the best bit. If you're revising and you're studying, you wanna be able to have a look at this lawn, which is one of the oldest, actually, I believe, I think Bowling Green is like the oldest green lawn or something like that. Um, just over there in the corner over here, you can see the library. This over here is the chapel. And just over here is the GP, or the JP rather. You can see other dorms over there. This is a look inside the shower rooms. As you can see, there's enough room for one person. Stuff, place to put clothes and stuff. Quite a few of them. For showering up in the morning. But yeah, overall, rooms are pretty good. Uh, often better than the US because if you look around, there's only one bed. Why? Because you don't have any roommates. So that is perfect if you don't want to be disturbed. And to be honest, I think it's my preference, right? So if you don't like having roommates, Cambridge is the place for you. At Oxford, it's pretty similar as well. And to be honest, most places in the UK are like that. I know that in the US, people do tend to have roommates, which if you like that sort of thing, it's good, but it can get in the way sometimes. So there we have it. That is a tour of a Cambridge room. Overall, what would I rate it out of 10? 
I'd say I'd rate it about a 7 out of 10 or 8 out of 10. Why do I like it? Why do I not like it? It's good because you get your own bed. You don't have to share with anybody. You don't have to share the room. You have your desk in here. You can do pretty much everything you want. You've also got room to share stuff with your friends if you want to invite them over. Like, just invite them over at the end of a long day. You can chill out in your room. There's quite a lot of space. And generally, you can be left to your own. Why, though, did I give it 10 out of 10? Well, ensuite would be great. Some colleges do have them, but it's not the standard. You'll see in the corner there are some heatings, and generally, when I was staying during the winter, I didn't really like the heating situation because you can't control it yourself. So the heating goes off when it gets coldest, which, to be honest, I never really understood. Heating goes off at like 9 o'clock in the evening and then comes back on a little bit later in the morning. So I was always like, damn, it's really cold in here. Why is the heating off when it is the coldest time? I mean, I think their logic is that you're meant to be sleeping, so technically you are. You won't feel whether it's cold, but a lot of time you're going to be studying and even really sleeping, I think. Stuff gets cold, right? I don't know what these people are made of. Anyway, other thing is... To be honest, I guess it's a little bit old, um, but that's just Cambridge. Uh, why else wouldn't I rate it 10 out of 10? I mean, yeah, it comes back to I'd want an ensuite if I were like my dream room would have an ensuite and it would also, I guess, just be warm. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it would be renovated as well, but you really can't, you can't complain too much when you compare it to other universities. Like, I'd say generally the room standards are pretty good. Um, you'll find some mold on the wall sometimes and stuff like that, but hey, what can you say? Oh, and final thing, Wi-Fi. Um, Wi-Fi is generally not that great, but again, you can sort of live with it. These buildings are like 500, 600 years old, so the fact that they have Wi-Fi is actually pretty impressive. So that's my review. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave your comments about what your favorite room would be like and what you would want to have in your perfect room. Also, let me know what your favorite university in the world is and where you want to stay. Like and follow for more.